Stereo, and I have got the very special guest today. It is the myth, the legend, Seth Everman. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Doing? My, cats My cats are here, are here and they are, they are bringing, bringing me happiness. Good. Uh, you promised me a sight of these cats, but I can't see them right now. On they're they're right here on the floor, but they're like just outside of the like camera angle. Okay. Uh, so, so for anyone gonna listening, up, I'm gonna for anyone listening, I'm gonna describe these cats in great detail. <laughs> okay. Wait. 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 They appear. Here's one. Here's a oh rhyme. my god! I'm dying. I'm dying by cuteness of this cat. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fat little baby. To and anyone he's... currently in the show, this is the cutest experience of a cat I've ever had. He wants we to play some... with everything, and he's going to be the we... reason that the stream goes down. Yeah, <laughs> we need some cat audio. Can we get? Oh no, we didn't get the cat. No, out. we can't. <laughs> <laughs> so on stereo, people can send in little voice requests and clips. So we've got our first one now. Let's have a listen. Oh, no, they're coming in now. So we're going to get some soon. So you can send them in. Seth, thanks for joining me again. So you sent me a DM about your giant house plant and how to look after it. I don't know why you trusted yes. me. <laughs> of You're all people. the house plant expert. Uh, <laughs> I'm, known, I'm known for killing house plants. Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah. You're the only person I knew who, like, had ever had any kind of interest in houseplants. So, like, yeah. my friends are, like, manly dude bros who are, like, into sports, so. Oh, okay. Okay, so I, I would know. I mean, mine is currently crinkling to death in the background. I got lots of complaints about I can it, tell. so I've added, I've added some tinsel just to make it seem a little bit more festive. It's like a dying Christmas, so that's something. <laughs> True. It, it represents 2020 quite well. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so anyone that knows you from YouTube will know you for your music, but also your eyebrows. Um, I was wondering if you practice your eyebrow raise in the mirror to get no, it to be so good. Like, it's just like a thing I was born with, I guess. My like, I feel like my eyebrows are not even. It's like I'm always doing the <laughs> eyebrow thing, like at all times. So, it's just like it doesn't even. Yeah. He's gone. Party. Phil's internet went down. Rest in peace. Do 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 we have him? <laughs> yeah, I could tell. Back to these. <laughs> uh, no, I'm in everything, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think they can hear me, maybe. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's coming back. He's trying. Oh, oh. I'm back. Hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. You said it would be your internet going down because of your cats, huh? but it was actually mine. Yeah. yeah. My cats, My cats are being good, good right, right now, now that's, that's why. why. Yeah, thanks for keeping your cool. It's okay. So I was talking about your eyebrows and how I've been practicing in the mirror trying to get the perfect eyebrow. Oh, can eyebrow you do it? Let me, Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. That, but I have to close an eye if I'm doing it. That's the thing. I always close one eye and <laughs> I don't look cool. I look... Mm. What's the opposite of sexy? It's that. 
yeah yeah it's not it's it's just not happening uh, we, do have, we do have some voice messages coming through on stereo for us get a cat 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 i feel like you could make your next youtube song using that as a backbeat it was very melodic yeah get a cat definitely get a cat get a cat um people want me to get a cat over a dog team cat is coming through yeah, I feel like cats were really cool on the internet and then dogs had their moment, but they had too much of a moment now, is the question. I mean, I cats, mean, cats are, are better, better. Period. period. <laughs> so you've always been a cat man. Yeah, I've yeah, had I've these had like flat-faced like, cats, cats my entire life, life so, so they're, they're my type of cat. I, I've never had a dog, actually. I want a dog. I want dogs and cats at the same time. But dogs are like way harder for me to take care of, I feel like, because they're just harder to take care of in general. A dog is for life, not just for Sethmus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play another one. Here we go. How are you guys doing on this fine day? I'm doing well. I feel a bit out of place because I'm wearing my coolest outfit because I wanted to impress Seth when we had a little pre chat earlier. <laughs> um, but I am I feel like. I, I feel like Seth wears really cool clothes and then I dress slightly like a dog. No, I, I feel like I, f I feel like an imposter. No, you're you look really handsome, really cool, cool clothing. Oh, thanks, Seth. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, to answer the question, um, I'm doing good. I had. Oh, OK. So today there was so I got this. I ordered a couch online uh, yeah. and you you'd imagine the couch would arrive like to your house if you order it but like sometimes mm. i feel like in every country you could either, either arrive like to your door or to the post office and where you pick it up guess what happened yeah what it happened? arrived at the post office so i had to a go there like i don't have a, i don't have a car so i had to just walk there what did there. you do <laughs> i barked so the post office is like in it's like a post office grocery store combination thing so like i yeah. i barred one of their like grocery cart things like that they <laughs> like to roll out their groceries on and i like pushed it yeah. all the way home with a huge sofa like two it came in two packages like this huge like two package sofa thing all the way home what so that, that that's sounds like day. a comedy sketch incredible no it's like, like a a sad sketch a sad sketch is the is the sofa comfortable though does it make your ass i have not good it. oh so it's in a box it's a that's box. tomorrow's job yeah <laughs> i mean you can sit on a box well the cat we've got another boxes, so oh that's good that's the cat's favorite get a dog 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 the girls are fighting versus cat versus dog wars on stereo would you rather get a dog or a cat i would rather get a dog i'm a dog guy but it's a big responsibility i mean i'm just I'm just getting used to looking after a fish. So going from fish to dog, it's a strong leap. Yeah, it's a pretty big step, I'd say. It's like you have to actually go outside with a dog and stuff, you know? Yeah, you totally do. So I, I noticed you've got some Yulmust in the corner. Oh, yeah. Look what yeah. I've got as well. Nice. Oh, is it, is it a different yeah. thing? No, it's the same brand. We've both no, got, it, no, it's a different both brand. Got some, oh, We've both got some Yulmust, which is the Swedish drink of joy. What does it mean? Yeah. Like, it just means like yes. Yule is Christmas. So it's like Christmas must. I don't know. Christmas must. They've both got like a creepy Santa on. What? Yes. A weird small Santa. I don't know. Uh, we have like, yeah. I feel like Christmas here is like a bit different, different than Christmas for like you guys. Because we have like. The weird, you have like Christian Christmas while we have like, yes, like not as Christian Christmas. Okay. So we have like the Tomte, which is Santa. That's like more what Christmas is about here, just like the weird, weird. Can you hear this? Set, like Santa. I'm just people. trying to, oh, I'm trying to get the fizz of the Yulmust on my. Here, can you hear this? Oh, listen to that. Cheers. Cheers. Um, so we're having Yulmust together. I was wondering if they've done something, Santa, to release this liquid. Mm. Oh, it tastes like Santa. It tastes like Santa's dream oh, no. mixed with a bit of fruit. Yeah. Nothing sinister, Seth. 
<laughs> he wanted like to create the uh, So it is a Swedish tradition. So today I wanted to talk about festive traditions. Do you or your family have any festive traditions? Anyone listening? Does something happen with your dog? Does something happen with your creepy neighbor next door? Does any of your friends do something weird on Christmas or whatever you celebrate over the festive season? Send in some messages and we'll have a listen. Um, Seth, so Christmas, what happens with you? Like, is there anything weird well, in Sweden? I, first of all, I just, I just have to add that for anyone who has never had Yulmust, it's, it's mm. basically tastes just like Coke, but like rotten Coke. So it's like a bit <laughs> Coke, but like a bit worse, like old, old, I'm enjoying very it. old Coke. It's like, I'd say it's like cherry mixed with grape flavored Coke, like a flavored Coke. Maybe it's a lingonberry. No, it's not. <laughs> have you oh, had lingonberry I, anything? I mean, I have at Ikea, but I don't think that was the best representation no. of, of your culture. No, I feel like it's just Coke, but like worse. I'm sorry, okay. Swedish Just people who are listening right now. <laughs> Coke, but like was. I've got another message coming in. Phil, you are oh, the definition Ethan. of fashion. Ethan! Ah, oh, I feel better now. <laughs> See, I've got compliments from Seth and Ethan. You're outdressing me. You're looking way better right now. We've both covered up our necks, though, because we've obviously been bitten by a I vampire. Mean, it's cold here. Yeah. Um, so, for me, Christmas... It's kind of a standard one if you imagined what a Christmas would be like in the UK. But I do have a story of when I went to a friend's house and they did some freaky shiz on Christmas Eve Eve. Oh, tell me. Yeah, it was so free. It was so weird. So I went to their house and it, the whole family was sat around and they're like, hello, Philip. It's time to decorate the log. We're going to make a log friend. So we got some little cutout eyes, stuck them on this log. We got a little hat, put it on the log. We gave the log a name. I think we called it Peter, uh, covered it in glitter. And it was like a big crafting. I mean, crafting... that sounds cute. Yeah, it sounds really cute. It was like a crafting event with my friend. And I like a bit of crafting. So as the evening progressed, we put him on the mantelpiece. And then the dad, I'm trying not to name names here. <laughs> the dad <laughs> then said, OK, Philip, as you're the guest, you can put Peter on the fire. No. Yeah. So I had to put our creation, which we've named, we've given it a human That's name. Please, Peter. And then I had to watch as his little eyes became engulfed with flames. Well, it was so sad. Is that like, do they do that every year? Is that like a British thing? Or is it like yeah, a, it's not a British thing. thing. <laughs> I think it was their family thing. Just create the log and then watch it burn. <laughs> Although... That does remind me of bonfire night. Do you, you don't have bonfire night, obviously, in no. Sweden. We have that, like, in, in May. We have, like, the 1st of May. We do that. Yeah. Like is that bonfires. midsummer? Yeah. No, no, no. Midsummer is in June. But we have okay. we have bonfires on midsummer as well. So we have tons of bonfires, I guess. But not well, I right then. I, I watched that movie. I know, I know what happens oh, yeah, yeah. those bonfires. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's just like midsummer. That's like a, a documentary. <laughs> basically yeah if you ever get me to wear a flower crown i'm going to say no for those reasons um oh we've got They're one cute. that just came in Here, <laughs> here's our next stereo message what happens on your festive we day? usually all do christmas pranks which is kind of weird but um it always ends in a drunk uncle smashing the tv so that's pretty cool <laughs> but at the same time i usually just stay in my room I do love a Christmas prank. I think I think that would put me on edge, though. I'm I'm very easy to jump. I'm not Smashing the prank. TV. I feel like that's like the next step, than like further than a prank. Yeah, I, the, the, there's always one uncle that will take it too far. I mean, I'm going to be an uncle. Maybe I'll start smashing a TV now. That's the next stage of prank. <laughs> oh yeah! Congratulations to your brother. And Thank you, you for being becoming an uncle soon. I'm excited to make this baby just become a Mario Kart wizard kid, like just completely yes. the best. Yeah. Um, so, so festive traditions. I was reading that there was a Swedish goat. Oh, uh, you want to hear? You want to hear about Swedish stuff? We have tons of yeah. weird stuff. Tell so, me about okay. the goat. Uh, the goat. Okay, we have. So in like northern Sweden, somewhere there's a huge. Okay, yeah. first of all, every single person has like. They're little, you know, you have a, you have a Christmas tree, you have like these little items and we have a straw yeah. goat. 
So, okay. but, but in like Northern Sweden, somewhere in some city, they build like a huge straw goat and every yes. year someone burns it down. Like they, they light it on fire. <laughs> like, and like now they're trying, no. like the police and stuff are very against this. It's like illegal. So they yeah. like try to like, they try to like put up fences and like have guards there and stuff. But one year yeah. I know that someone shot uh, an arrow with like fire on the tip, like, and they shot the arrow and hit the goat and it burnt down. So it's wow, like, that's, that's it's very intense. Viking of them. That, that is I intense. Know. You guys don't have the Krampus, do you? The evil Santa goat? No, no, we don't. No, we just have a friendly that... straw goat. Right. Maybe, maybe you've got the nice goat. And I think it might be Germany. <laughs> Yeah, has probably the Germany. Evil goat that eats children or something. I think that's yes. absolutely terrifying. No, our, our goat just <laughs> hangs out next to the Christmas tree, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I could I could handle that goat rather than being eaten by a murderous one. Um, so another Swedish tradition I've been involved with personally through Cornelia is a Swedish smorgasbord. Yes, smorgasbord. Schm sorry, smorgasbord. Mm -hmm. Is that better? <laughs> I don't want to. No, I, I wanted to okay. try the accent. <laughs> um so, so I've got myself some Swedish food that I got from the Swedish shop, and I thought you could review my choices on if they're any good, and I could also taste them. Is this a yes. Swedish mukbang? If it's just me eating, and you're watching me, I mean mukbangs get views, so let's go. Let's let's say it is. Uh, you can drink your Yulmust while you watch. Oh, um, so I'm going to start. I'll start eating them in a sec. But we've got another message on stereo. Where's when I was little, I thought it'd be sad for the star on the Christmas tree to be all on its own. So I thought oh. it, there should be a moon with it. And we kept having a moon on the tree every year since. I feel very proud of being able to institute a family tradition. A, fam I mean, a family that's, moon. That's just cute. That's cute. That was a very relaxing voice, by the way. I feel like you should yeah. read an audiobook to me. I feel so zen and relaxed now. <laughs> the story was relaxing. The voice was relaxing. It was lovely. You should just do the show for us. Um, so <laughs> the first thing I got from the Swedish shop was Bilar, oh, which is the only one classic. I've had before. It's a... Classic. Sursokrad. Have you ate some of that? that that's not Yeah, I, I was meant to... Bag. I've, this is the one I've already tasted. Anyone that knows me will know I can't leave sweets uneaten. Um, here we go. You get some nice chewing ASMR. Mm. It tastes it's like rating. soap. It tastes like soap, but in a good way. They're shaped like little cars. Mm, that's what feel oh. means. What? Soapy cars? No. <laughs> just, no. Just cars. <laughs> It's called. Okay. Um, next one I got was Polly. Is that, Ooh, is that good? Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! Tell, tell me about this. They're good. They're like, they're chocolate couple, covered little, like, gooey pieces of tasty. <laughs> Socaria. Butter toffee. Okay, I'm going for it. They've got different flavors. They're like, they look like little revels, if anyone in the UK is listening, like a revel. Oh my god, they've got marshmallow inside. They're, they're really, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really good. They get stuck to your teeth. It's getting stuck to my teeth, for sure. If I start talking weird, it's because I've got a poly in my mouth. Mmm, that's great. They're well, I'm chewing on that. Let's, let's listen to another one. This log is on fire. This <laughs> log is on fire. Don't make me think about it. I regret my life. <laughs> Mary Jane, What's its name? I was Peter? just Peter's on fire. The log is on fire. <laughs> I was just, I was just, I, I, I lived through that memory and I thought it was over, but now that just brought it all back. This is so sad. Oh my god, it was so sad. Okay, next one, I got a jungle, 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 jungle. It's got a monkey who looks like he's having a lot no. of fun with another monkey on the packet. Are they breeding Enjoy. or just having a hug? That looks oh. like monkey mon monkey sex. Um, okay, I'm gonna try it. It says it's very salty licorice. Schmagodis med rasander. Mm -hmm. Salt lac rit smack. Salt, salt lacris. Yeah. Good luck. Oh! That is so, what, what's going on? 
That is so I, salty. I've just had one friend ever who enjoyed those. Yeah, I'm not loving that. That's like you dipped an entire licorice into salt. I guess that's the point, right? Yeah, that's literally what it is. Why? Sweden. Uh, people in Sweden enjoy pain. <laughs> so, but you do not. No, no, I I love poly, but those are bad. Okay, yeah, they're bad. Oh, that is leaving. I need to wash it down with some yulmos. That is leaving yeah, a bad day. Basically, rot and Let's listen to one of them. Oh my goodness! So it's not a tradition, but when I was younger, a very heavy stocking hanger that said Noel fell on my head, and to this day, I don't remember anything from before then. Oh my gosh! How how heavy was it? Like what was what was there? the present in that stocking? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> the Christmas bricks have arrived. Yeah. Um, I hope I hope nothing too exciting happened in your life before that. That's like a little bit of Christmas amnesia or something. That should be a tradition. It should be. It would be nice just to forget the year before, especially twenty twenty. Uh, just yes, whack a stocking into my head. Yeah, please let me forget. <laughs> Should we just hit ourselves with stockings? I think that would help. Yes, please. Okay. Do you want to hear another? another uh, do you want to hear? Oh, okay. Do you want to go with another no, little? No, message? you you or tell. Do you want to hear tell Swedish Seth, stuff? Okay. Hear let me one. let me tell you. So okay. okay, wait. It's not a Seth one specifically. It's like a Sweden one. So we have a Sweden one. Uh, every okay. This is like a huge thing. The huge thing in Sweden on Christmas. First of all, Christmas is the twenty fourth, not the twenty fifth. Yeah. So just pointing that out it's the 24th okay christmas is so the, we that's have, weird to me yes no no that's that's christmas you're weird so okay. anyway so we have at three <laughs> o'clock at 3 p.m listen it gets weirder at 3 p.m every okay. christmas we have like on the on the like the national like the government run tv channel like channel one yeah we have this like compilation of disney clips it's called we just call it donald duck and that runs at 3 p.m. every Christmas. And everyone in this entire country watches it. That's like the really? Christmas tradition. Yes, to watch like Donald Duck. That's what they call it. So we're watching Don we're watching the Queen have a speech and you're watching Donald Duck. Yes, literally. And it's like it's literally the same like compilation. It's like one Christmas piece from like, I don't know, it's not Donald Duck, it's like some Disney stuff. And then it's like random. Mm random clips from Disney, like Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, like all this stuff. And then at the end, Disney just literally promotes like their latest movies. And we're all really? like, oh, wow, what a great Christmas tradition. <laughs> we love Disney. <laughs> Festive Disney hour. That yes. sounds wholesome. I, I could sign it up is. to that. And it's yeah. literally been going on for like 60 years. Like my mom watched it as a kid and she's uh, very, very young, uh, not old at all. <laughs> If she's listening. <laughs> so crazy thing about my family is my grandma used to make my dad wait until the queen had spoken before he was allowed to open a Christmas present. Ooh. So like what what does the queen say? You're, is it like the same speech every year or is it like relevant stuff? It's quite somber and it's usually just like reviewing the year and like here's what we've been through. Oh. Like this year, I'm sure it'll be quite sad. But sometimes she does a little, just a little positive message at the end, like we'll all get through this and have a lovely Christmas. It's kind of like your grandma just having a, a nice little chat with you sometimes. Yeah, that sounds pretty nice. I feel like we, I feel yeah. like the king of Sweden has a speech every year, but I don't yeah. know if it's Christmas related or not. And I, I've never watched it, so sorry. Mr. Okay, king. we can swap this year. And um, I got, I, I found out some other from other countries. Apparently in Iceland there is a Yule cat which viciously attacks people if they're not wearing Christmas jumpers, I think. I got this off a weird website, so. <laughs> that sounds fun. Sure I wish, really... it's like my cats right now. They're just attacking me yeah. all the time. It sounds like I'd like to hang out with the Yule cat. Also in Germany, apparently they hang a Christmas pickle to the tree and then whoever finds the pickle first gets a present. I'd be down for that. Why a pickle? Why, like, I don't know why I feel a like a pickle is not Christmassy. Yeah, a pickle isn't the most Christmassy object. And also, there's one, I think, where is it? In Finland, a tradition is have to have a festive sauna where friends Ooh. or family get together in the sauna, get naked, just have a, a, good, a, a good relax. Again, that's what it says. That's what it says on the website. I, mean, I don't know if you I guys feel like that's typical Finnish that. stuff right there. It, 
Yeah, but li listen to this. Um, after the sauna session, a legendary sauna elf believes to come home. <laughs> what? That's what? Like that when doesn't they get even drunk. make sense. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's home to the legendary sauna elf. Okay. Yeah, I think oh, if they've had too much... sauna elf, of course. Yeah, a little bit too much mulled wine and then you start seeing the sauna <laughs> elf while you're naked. It'd be an interesting <laughs> Christmas Eve. <laughs> they love to drink beer in the sauna over there i know it oh have you ever been let's to get another yeah you have i've been to finland and to sweden i've been to your i've been to your house you've been everywhere metaphorical house no you've your not been house. to my house i've invited you to my no. house but you've never been i feel like i've been in your house by just watching your videos and chatting to you when you send yeah. me when you send me messages saying how do i care for my house plant <laughs> listen don't call me out right now yeah. Okay. Next. Next one is get a, goat, get a goat. Get a goat. Get a goat. Get a goat. Get, get a goat. goat. <laughs> I mean, I guess I should get a goat, just not a disturbing Christmas goat. Let's just. Play uh, I'm eating well. too. I got my pizza while well, listening to you guys. <laughs> like, this shit's good. Period. It's a full. It is a full mukbang. It is. I mean, yeah. I wish I had pizza right now. I don't, because I... I know. Okay, so listen. A little uh, Seth Everman secret right now to your... How many listeners? 800 listeners. And... Uh, yes. Viewers. So I have... I live in not not Stockholm. My house is not in Stockholm. It's in a tiny little village. And Ooh. the only thing we have here is a post office slash grocery store where I got my couch today and one pizza place. So I love pizza. But it's the only thing I can eat here. Literally. That's the only Just, thing. Nothing else. That's the only thing here. And we're like 200 people and it's farms all around. What? So I, I guess if, if I had to choose one thing to only be able to eat pizza would be pretty high on the list. Yeah, same. I'm like, I feel like I'm lucky to have just the pizza place here. Oh, well, that's good. Well, the last thing I found on my Swedish quest was pickled herring. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's, that's a classic. This feels like it's going to be some kind of food challenge for me. I'm not sure a pickled herring is something I'd be eager to eat. I, you'd have like, you'd need like a piece of bread to it. Like, you know, it's not like well, you eat a piece of fish ever. Oh, oh well, I've got, I've got a hoose, man. <laughs> that is basically bread. That's like, we have okay. like hard bread and soft bread. And that's like the hard okay. bread. Okay, so I've got, like I've dry. got some kind of, it looks like a rivita. So what do I do? Do I just put the fish on the rivita and have a bite? I'm a bit scared. I feel like I'm on. I'm a I mean, I guess. Out here. I feel like you you should have like a bunch of other stuff, but it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I'm just trying to embrace the culture, so I won't be too scared. I'm just gonna go. I don't for think it. it's gonna be too bad. It's like a good thing to have on a piece of bread. Okay. I don't think it's gonna be too okay. bad. Would any of our listeners eat a pickled herring? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, they're quite big. Oh, they are. I thought it'd be like oh, a, no. I thought it'd be like a little a little sliver, but it's like. That's oh, a large yeah, piece yeah, of, no, yeah. That's a large big. piece. Okay, of so we, ha we have like so every okay a weird Swedish thing about Christmas. We have uh, yeah. all these pickled herrings, just like that. You can go ahead and eat. <laughs> we have those. Okay, and we have them. In, like, <laughs> it's going to be a big crunch. Flavors. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm going to go. Have, I'm like, just going to go for it. Go for it. Okay, we have like herrings in different flavors. So we have we have like a mustard <laughs> herring, <laughs> and we have okay. You're making it worse, Seth. You think herring? It's not that bad. I I know. I, it's just not. I'm, I'm a bit fussy. It's not something I'm used to. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Count, count me down. Ten. Ten. No. <laughs> just go. Four. All right, I'll just go. Okay. Oh. You had a pretty big bite. That's like a lot oh, of fish in there. Oh, there's a lot of fish. Oh. That is not for me. No. I'm sorry. It's not for everyone. I tried. You have to be Swedish. Woo! There's so much pickle in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like really flavorful. Wow. That tastes like vinegar fish. Yeah. Well, as I said, before you uh, insulted my culture. <laughs> I'm um, sorry. We, we have like I we have a bunch it. of different herrings. We have like mustard herring, which is a super popular one. And a bunch of different yeah. flavors. But then the weird thing is that every every Christmas we have all this food. And then every midsummer we have the exact same food. So it's like the same Ooh. Christmas food during midsummer. So yeah. they're very similar. 
hey, the aftertaste is well nicer than the eating experience. Now I'm kind of into it. It's like a pickled monster munch, which is a crisp. Is. You're missing out. I need to send you a box of pickled onion monster munches. And you can send me a box of Yule must, I guess. Herring. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not herring. <laughs> okay, let's, let's listen to a couple more. Okay. Our weirdest Christmas tradition is climbing onto my mum and dad's bed, even at the age of 29, and opening our stocking out of a red, like, tight, like one side of a red tight that's stuffed with, like, new pants and exciting stuff, like, that's really useful, like a flannel. Yeah, Sa Santa's quite interesting with his choices sometimes. I think I'm going to get some hand sanitizer this year. I think I wouldn't be surprised. Or an orange. Leave. Always leaves an orange in the bottom of the stocking as well. I've never had Christmas stockings, I think. I've just had, like, the gifts under the thing, under the Christmas tree. But if, So does Santa come on Christmas Eve? Santa comes on Christmas... Yeah, I, I guess that's what it's called, the 24th, right? That's Christmas yeah. Eve. Oh, sorry, yeah, Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, Christmas, yeah, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's and then, Christmas. but then, when does he deliver the gifts? If you're awake, yeah, it's like on, it it's like on the eve. It's in the evening. Ah, basically, right. Oh, so the night before, I, I get it. I guess he's got a lot mm -hmm. of places to deliver to, so that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And on the twenty fifth, we do nothing. Like we literally don't do anything on the twenty fifth. I feel like I'm learning a lot today, Seth. Thank you for this Swedish education. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay, we've got one more that's come through. And but have you ever tried up. a pickled pickle? <laughs> Ooh, that is a Just galaxy brain pickle. idea. Could you pickle a pickle? Could you? I don't know. Is it, has it already reached like the maximum of pickleness? <laughs> <What's> <laughs> what is the maximum does it, pickle? Like, does anything happen with it, or is it just like max? I don't out? know. <laughs> that's that's something that needs to we need to try. <laughs> Science. <laughs> so we need something... answers. We need to like, something else that I've bonded with Seth over is the X Files, which is your favorite show of all time. Would you say you want to believe? You can see it in the background here. Yeah, it's last week X Files merge. Last week I had a conversation about the monoliths that are appearing everywhere. Do you think it's an alien investigation? No, I do not. Oh, I think I okay. Listen, I think it's like someone's art project, like someone's art or. Like, you know, stuff like that. I don't think it's alien at all. I'm just going to say it. I wanted to call Mulder and Scully, or we could investigate. We could start a reboot of the reboot and be FBI agents together. Oof. The it's reboot was bad enough. The reboot of the yeah. reboot, it's going to be, like, not very good. <laughs> Let's do it. I think, I think we could do it. <laughs> so for the next section, I thought me and Seth, could try and give you guys a bit of advice but the twist is one of us is going to give the worst possible advice and one of us is going to give good advice so it's called bad advice good advice so if you've got a funny dilemma it's got to be a funny situation you need help with and it's got to be like a quick funny situation let us know i'm going to change the topic right now uh i'm going to say give us your funny advice questions that's not very well worded is it it's happening now you did your best we want to give you funny advice <laughs> we that give you advice like it's not going to be funny at all yeah i'm gonna say we give you advice in brackets funny how about that seth mm. bad <laughs> okay i've set the topic um so we'll await some advice to come in um i want to well we would go on no you say you, you're okay. the guest thank you one thing so I went to your live, this is completely irrelevant, but I went to your yes. your live shows, right? You had two of them. I went yeah. to both. But, okay. So at the second one, after yeah. the show, you I saw you in Malmö. Malmö in Swedish. Malmö. And then yeah. after that, I went, I was going to go to VidCon in LA. So I went to the airport in oh, Copenhagen. Yeah. And at yeah. the airport, I'm, I'm like 99% sure... I walked past you guys and you saw me and I completely ignored you. Why would you ignore me? <laughs> Listen, I was afraid and I was <laughs> I'm not scary. Very confused. Listen, it's like <laughs> you were in Malmö and I was in Malmö and then I went to Denmark to fly away from Copenhagen with like the at the airport and I did yeah. not expect to see you guys there, but I did. 
and I was oh. very afraid. A confusing situation. I, I mean, yes. I didn't know I had I had a scary awe about me. Maybe I do. It's terrifying. I did had to walk en- away. <laughs> did you enjoy my rapping when you came to the show? Yes, I don't recall, but yes. <laughs> that, was, that was such a large pause. I, was like, <laughs> it's okay, I don't sir. remember. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to give some advice to someone on stereo. Who have we got? I've woken up and there's a raccoon running through my house. What should I do? <laughs> you're cute. You're friendly. Wait, oh, oh, you're doing the good advice. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, oh, fuck, this is one of those. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You can do good. I'll do I, bad, and then we'll switch. Yes. This is a reference to the fact that I pranked my mum on the radio, saying there was a raccoon and babies in the house, and they peed all over the floor. So I think the bad advice in that situation would be to get another raccoon in your house, breed the raccoons, create a raccoon army, and take over your that's town. That's good advice too. What you? Mean? I mean, I don't. <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> I, as I was saying that, I was like, actually, this sounds like it would be a good movie. So maybe do that. I don't know. Okay, Seth, you've got to do the bad advice for this next one. Here we go. So I don't know. I've got so many dead house plants, and I don't know if I should invest in replacing them with new ones or just accepting the fate that all of them are going to die and just never buy one ever again. Elliot, okay, what's so- he going to do? What's the worst thing he could do? buy new ones and place them next to the dead ones so they will see how they're going to end up. Just torture the plants. That, that is dark. They'll be looking. They'll be like the log that got put in the fire. Yeah. <laughs> Not the log. I'm so crispy. I mean, I, I, I'm one to talk. This one does look a bit sad. I am watering it, but the, the plants behind me, they're just not happy. I don't know why. Um, no. My advice would be to stick with it and set a reminder on your phone. Water your plants. Or they'll cry. I think I think that would be a good one. Okay, next one. That's good. Please give me advice. I don't know what to give my boyfriend's mom for Christmas. Your boyfriend's mom. Boyfriend's mom. Ooh. Should I should I do a uh, a good one or a bad one? What do you think? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me see. Oh, did you did you disconnect from the call again? Rest in peace. So, guys, how are we doing doing tonight? tonight? This is is, uh, the Seth Seth Everman Everman podcast. podcast And and... (laughs) oh, he's back. Hello. Okay. (laughs) I didn't hear it. Say it again. (laughs) No, No, I I was just saying. I was just welcoming welcoming all the 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 listeners to the the Seth Seth Everman Everman podcast. podcast. You've taken this. This was you all along. You've got your cats to switch the wires around. Um, I'd say the worst advice to give your mum a present would be a feral raccoon. Oh, you're you're connecting, you're connecting the, other the other questions. I am. Well, I've got Ooh. a raccoon thread moving through this advice line. <laughs> I'd say a good, good gift, gift for your for your, for your boyfriend's, boyfriend's mom. mom. I have nothing. There is. I I feel like that's like the most complicated thing ever. Like your partner's mother, like oh god, that like, is oh give give them a card. Like your child is wonderful as a partner. That is super complicated. Or just get a photo of yourself so they can put it in a frame in the room, <laughs> so you're always watching. <laughs> no, so that Please would be a bad. One. Okay, one one more advice question. Let's get it. I desperately have to use the bathroom, but there is a plumber and a construction crew in our bathroom right now redoing everything. What do I do? Walk in and just pee all over the floor. That means I'm going to give them the good advice. Yeah. I think, unless that was the good advice, then no, we're in that trouble. Was the good advice. Oh, God. Assert dominance like a dog. I mean, in that case, the worst advice, because that's the good advice. The bad advice <laughs> is you'll have to actually talk to them. And I know that's horrible. I, I would never oh. be able to speak to like, the plumber and be like, can you get out? I need to go to the bathroom. Unless no. the bathroom isn't even like, unless you can't go to the bathroom because it's like in pieces. Then that's bad. Then you might have to go outside. Go for a wee outside. Mm-hmm. 
And um, yeah, it's so awkward if there's someone in the house and you've got to be like, sorry, can you get out? Because I need a wee for a moment. You never want to, you never want to do that. No, you never want to speak to the people in your house. Yeah, they keep coming in and I just want to keep doing this. Can we do another one? So, okay, yes. the next stereo message comes from... I was eating a Pringle and then the salt went in my eye and it's stinging. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to hear a, I mean, an entire <laughs> hour-long show about that situation. You were eating a Pringle and the salt went in your eye. Seth, bad advice. Bad advice. Don't do anything. Put the entire Pringle inside your eye. Oh yeah, yeah. You can add more. Add more. Yeah, just add more What's Pringles the to the eye. <laughs> the good advice <laughs> is. Uh, Deal with the situation and learn the lesson. Wow. Yeah. Or wash your eye out, I guess. Profound. That was profound. I enjoyed our little advice time. <laughs> that was a good one. Mm -hmm. Can we do a little bit of fill in the blanks now, which is where we just have random topics fired at us by the audience and we just chat about it. Whatever comes up. Yes, absolutely. Let's go. You guys but better have some good, good questions. All 800 of you. Bring them in. The first one can come from you, Seth. What do you what do you want to chat about? What should we get oh, deep no. about? Okay, okay, okay. So let's let's make it Christmas related because I'm like uh, irrelevant. I, I have studied the topics of today and I've written down some things. So <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> Christmas. Those are yes. the topics. So okay. have you ever received any good video games, video game related stuff for Christmas? Because I'm a video game person myself, so I just want to know. Did you ever, like, Oof. as a kid? That's a good question. I did collect Pokemon cards as a kid, and my friend didn't know which ones were the rare ones and which one weren't the rare ones. So he was like, oh, I don't really play with these. And he had the Charizard card that everybody wanted. Oof. And I felt bad because I was like, oh, my God, he doesn't know how rare it is. <laughs> but then I kept it anyway. Do you still have it? I don't think I've still got it. I think my mum threw it in the bin. Did she throw away like a million pounds or something there? No, nah, just just like a thousand pounds. That's fine. Oh, half. <laughs> what about you? Have you ever re received an amazing? I think video I have. Game? I think I, I think like in the year the year was like two thousand or like two thousand one maybe. I received a yeah. PS one. I uh, yeah, PS one with like Harry Potter, the first Harry oh. Potter game, I think, and it was really amazing. good. I loved it. That's that's my good because I'm right now. By the way, completely irrelevant again. I'm trying to build like a video game room upstairs with like just like yeah. retro games and like an old fat like TV, you know. So amazing! I'm trying to do that. That's what the sofa's for. That came from the post office today. I'm jealous of your retro games room. You should be. I am. I it actually it's it's giving me physical pain. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right, the next topic is going to be YouTube. I want to know. I want to know about your comment that has broken all records. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. So to your, to your viewers and listeners, uh, I have the world's most liked YouTube comment. Just He's a record breaker. There. How many yes, likes does it's it have? Got, Do you I think track? No. Yes, I do. So I think right now <laughs> it's got 3.3 million likes. And what? I know, it's crazy. It's like way more than the second most liked one. But anyway, it's, it's on Billie Eilish's uh, bad guy music video. And right like a few weeks ago, that music video hit 1 billion views. Congrats to Billie Eilish. And Congrats. so it's like, I think right now I'm getting tons of messages from everyone like, your comment got removed. It's gone because just they can't no. find it. But it's not oh, it's removed. Got, it, it's I, got lower down. Yeah, it's just really far down. But I can see it because I posted it. So, like, I know it's still there. But I know yeah. other people have, like, had to scroll for, like, two hours just to find it. <laughs> so I think it's going to be stuck at 3.3 million uh, likes forever now because no one can find it anymore. I'll go give it another like. I might tip it over. Thanks. You, you just have to scroll for two hours first. I'll scroll for two hours. We've got a topic. Who's it from? Yes. Gnomes. <clears throat> Gnomes. Gnomes with a big. That, that I instantly got RuneScape into my mind because that's like the gnome. 
place <laughs> where gnomes exist for me. The place of gnomes. Uh, yeah. I was thinking that my granddad had gnomes and they really scared me. And half of them oh, weren't like, wearing any pants. Did they have like? Did he have like garden gnomes or just like inside? Uh, real gnomes that lived in no. I don't oh, really? Really? oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, they were garden gnomes, but half of them weren't yeah. wearing any pants, which is a bit weird. Were they like detailed? Like detail? They, they they just had their buns out, so it was like oh, okay. lots of gnome butts while you're having your breakfast. Cheeky That's little gnomes. Pleasant. Next one. Prefer we blue tack, pink tack, or white tack? That's a very important question. What is pink tack? I don't know. I think you made pink tack up. <laughs> what? Maybe it's like a, a American thing or something else. What's the accent yeah. there? I don't know. When I was at school, I used to chew on blue tack, which seems unhealthy and bad for you, so you probably shouldn't do that. But that was something I, have, I, would I do. have no idea what that is. Blue tack. How do you Uh-oh. stick a poster on a wall? You oh put... yeah, 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 yeah. Blue. Okay, yeah, I know what that was. Yeah, <laughs> we, we yeah we only had blue. Blue. Yeah, it's just called blue. Okay. No. Next one. Right. Like, Very important make or break question. <laughs> Do you like Brussels sprouts? Yes or no? That is a very important. Indifferent. Question. Ind- indifferent. I yeah. I like one if they've had stuff done to them. So not like a plain sprout, but if they've got like things on them to, yeah, to like had stuff done to them <laughs> you no, mean they're like cooked yeah they're cooked they're cooked but then they've got like i don't know like an onion on it or something that, that'd be nice okay, worst christmas present you ever received oh, the worst christmas present well the worst present i've ever received I, I don't think it, i don't think it was for christmas but my dad got me a drill i mean i mean that's... It's good. Yeah, but if you it was like drill. my 18th birthday. And I was like, a massive box. Oh my God, what's it going to be? It's a drill. Mm. If you know me, mm. a drill is probably a ticket to the hospital. <laughs> I felt that. Okay, so yeah. my uh, my worst, I I don't think it was Christmas either. I think it was like a birthday, but I'm going to go with it anyway. I got yeah. drum drumsticks because I'm like a drummer. I used to be. And then I... I, re- I just remember this for some reason, but I was like seven years old and my friend, it was like a birthday party and my friend gave them to me and I was yeah. like so disappointed for some reason and just like, he was so sad because he got these <laughs> like really nice drumsticks. Oh and no! I did you not like, say what? like thank you or anything. Yeah, so that's the only thing that came to mind and it's like just me being a bad person. Is Next that question. Just one of those cri- is that just one of those cringe attacks that you wake up to in the middle of the night? You're like, no, Why did I no. Do that? No, I'm just, no. I'm just sad. <laughs> All right. Keeping it on the Christmas topic, what is the best Christmas dessert? Louis Tomlinson, that was from. You sound a bit different. Um, what is the best Christmas dessert? We don't, the... I don't think we have any in Sweden, like Christmas desserts. I don't think. I, I never had any. No. A Christmas pudding? Christmas, uh, a mince no. pie? No. What do you do after your Christmas meal? No, we go to bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I literally don't think... I, it's like normal desserts. We don't, I don't think we have any special ones. Oh, yeah. Also, you said pudding right now. Do British yeah. people say pudding about every single dessert? Because I've heard British people say like, oh, when it's like ice cream, they're like, oh, I'm so ready for the pudding. And it's not I, I pudding. Think... It's ice cream. <laughs> it's like a cake. And they're like, oh, I'm so excited for the pudding. It depends it's where you're like, from. I think it might be like some quite posh people might say, oh, I'm ready for my pudding. But being from up north, we would just call it like uh, dessert or afters, we would say. Scram. What's for afters? What's for my scran? <laughs> <laughs> I think that would basically be it. Um, they was they were some good topic- topics, though. I enjoyed that. That was good. And hmm? um, random. But I noticed you liked my Instagram with a beard. I was wondering mm-hmm. what you thought of beard Phil. Oh, very sexy. You should definitely grow a beard. Really? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, because it's like, I don't know how your actual beard would grow, because I feel like, like maybe that, no. it's not the same, like, <laughs> like very <laughs> thick and, like, perfectly shaped, and I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I think I think it would make me look older, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, That's the thing. For sure. Yeah. 
I, I don't I don't think I've got that otherwise. So maybe I'll do that. Would you ever grow a beard? No, because it makes me look way older. I look like 50, like 45 with a beard. Because I, I can grow a beard like pretty well, but I have yeah. to shave it off every single day. When I've grown stubble, which I've hardly ever done, but I did at one point, anyone that saw me said I looked tired. They're like, oh, you look so tired. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm trying oh, no. something new. Mom. It's like, why are you so tired looking? And I was like, okay, I need to shave it off. But yeah, oh, that's a bad making time. that video, making that video has put me more on the fence about beard, hashtag beard fill, but I'm, st- I'm still not were sure like, about it. Were you like, what side of the fence were you before? Were you like pro beard what? or? No, I, I was, I was not on the fence. I was, I was on the bad side of the fence. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, but now maybe I'm inching towards it. Maybe just for a few weeks, I could, I could be a beard. I'll, I'll wear a beard, wear a beard, have a beard. <clears throat> you could be a beard. Uh, yeah, good. Um, so that was all the topics. Anything else you would like to chat about before we depart into the, the ether of space? Did you ever believe in Santa? What are you talking about? I still believe in Santa. Oh, my bad. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did get freaked out, actually, because Rudolph and the other reindeers left carrots in my bedroom. And I was like, why the frick are the reindeers being in my room? Like, what did they do? Why are they here? Because <laughs> they're quite similar tangentially to horses, you know? And mm-hmm. horses do scare me a bit. So imagine if you're in your bedroom in the middle of the night and there's just a reindeer that's like... <sighs> it wouldn't be good, would it? No. Speaking of reindeer, we have reindeer in Sweden. We have tons of reindeer. I think I've had what? reindeer like as food. Rest in peace. I didn't think you were going to go to eating them as the end of the... <laughs> sorry, Rudolph. I ate reindeer. I, I ate Christmas. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's all right. Um, well, this has been a blast. Thanks so much for coming to the show, Seth. Thank you for you're having inspiring me. me. You're inspiring me with your eyebrow. I'm really, really trying. And I just... That's all. I'm nearly there. I'm kind of... Your there. eyebrows are completely straight. There's no like arch or like thing going on. I know. Even Some with your I'm fingers, developing... there's nothing going on. What? Well, let me try. Oh, I oh. want to look cool. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you still win. Um, okay. Thanks for coming. Anyone that's listening, go check out Seth's YouTube channel. Seth Everman. He's funny. He makes you happy. And <laughs> thanks for coming to the show. Thank you for having me. No worries. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks for listening. So before I just clock off, I just wanted to say that anyone in the Amazing Phil hashtag, if you want to do a little bit of a stream of your own, I'm just going to pop in and give some shout outs to your streams. I won't stick around for too long. I'll just be like, hey, how's it going? Um, So if anyone wants to do your own little stereo shows and wants to try it out, I'll pop in and say hi if you're in the Amazing Phil hashtag. Doesn't that sound nice? Um, So... I will do that. Anyway, that's the end. I'll say bye again now. Bye, Seth. Bye. Bye, everyone.